Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you the build that I'm actually using. Uh, I'm going to try it here. Uh, this is the build that I do in regular runs. Of course, I try many builds, right? But this is kind of a, my main one, uh, which serves me very well in whatever I do, uh, you know, when I progress. So, this is how it looks like. So, basically, Fighter is Binding, forget about swirling and this one. I don't need this. I don't need this control from far. I'm just going to go all in. Uh, so, I've committed critical hit and radiance. I'm not using anymore, not the swirling, just waste of time. Uh, it's not needed. I mean, not for my build, definitely, but I don't really like it now in the, in the DLC. Nonetheless, this is what I have. Uh, I'm using this armor, which has minus 40% potion cooldown, which I can use quite often, right? Uh, damage reduction. Oh, this is a dude here. But this is the main thing. This what <laughs> short bow. Why I'm using a short bow? Uh, I need to upgrade it. But basically, because of these three enchantments, right? World charge, cooldown shot, and rapid fire. So why I need this? This synergizes perfectly. Look at the cooldown here. Look down here. You see? If I press this one, it will take forever. Now I want to use them quite often, right? And for the next engagement. Now it's so slow, right? It's so slow. I'm going to activate it when time, of course, it's just for several seconds, like 15 seconds, but again, it's still very, very slow. So what I do, look what I do. I just roll, shoot, and it's ready. And you can even use a macro for this. You're just pressing one button, and it's like loaded quickly. I'm not using macro, I'm using manually, but you can use macro if you like. So I'm going to look at this again. Pay attention here, all right? I'm going to use all three, right? You can roll. And it's ready for the next engagement. So this is why I have this protection from the amulet I'm going to show you. So I have this one, Iron Eyed Amulet, right? That is 70.5% duration, gives me major boost of defense. This is great for general use, right? And I don't need two of anything because, again, I'm just charging them for the next engagement, right? And this is, of course, the speed and gong, also very, very useful for the enemies or enchanted enemies, right? So that's what I do. Uh, before I see enemies, I get close. If, of course, just one, I'm not going to spend it. But I get into a situation, I'm going to activate the amulet, for example. If there are many enemies, I can... If I want to charge it up, what I do, like this, shoot. And it also ready, ready, I can go in, continue. I didn't want to go down. I didn't want to go down. So I do this again. Shooting. And it's ready. I can do this again. Now if it's too hard, I'm going to go in. Activate the potion. I want to go back. It's ready again. I can use again. Right? I can go back. You see, it just roll. And it's ready. You can go in again. Use everything just to clear everything very, very fast. So the important thing is to, uh, of course, pick up arrows. But there are plenty of arrows in the DLC. You're going to have hundreds of them. So there's no problem using them. And this is fun because I can choose really things that... I created, by the way, several beads with this. I'm not using even deflect here. Oh, sorry. I'm rolling, shooting. I don't even need to shoot enemies, by the way. I can just shoot, you know, any direction. I can activate the amulet now and go ready for the next engage engagement and go. Of course, in uh, when you're doing a. Uh, Ancient Hunts, of course, there's going to be lots of enchanted enemies and crazy stuff. And this is perfect for this. Perfect for this. Because I have I've, I've both protection and the damage that I need to clear. And the, the thing is, why I went with the Fighters Binding with Crit Hit and everything. I want to eliminate enemies fast. I want to clear things fast. And because I have all this, I can do it. Look at their cooldowns, right? Ready. So, huge defense, tons of damage, right? And also have my potion ready if I need it. 
And because the cooldown is very good. Ready. Let's go in. Now this build is very very versatile. The thing is, because I can charge my abilities very fast, I can switch this one with other things in the slot. I don't need the perfect build, right? Because there's no perfect. There are different situations where some things actually might be better. So what I'm using, I can just switch artifact with another artifact if I need it for a certain thing, right? Uh, and this is what I like about this one. Uh, I'm not limited by the time of the artifact, by the cooldown. Uh, but this is very good because it gives you, you are very, very powerful, very strong with the cooldown of the amulet because it lasts for a long time, 20 seconds, I think. Uh, and you can use it, you know, as much as you like. You just roll a few shots, it's ready. So you're very tanky. You don't need to use the potion as much just in case you are getting low. And you actually won't get that low because you're using it. Uh, and we're just focusing on damage, creating enemies very fast. That's why I chose the critical hit. Um... Uh, it's, so it's more important just to eliminate enemies, tough enemies, and certain one very, very fast. So the committed and critical hit ensures that I deal a lot of damage. And of, trust me, I try both, right? I try the critical, uh, sorry, the fighters biting with uh, swilling and shockwave. Uh, this is so much better. This is just so much better for killing enemies fast. I, I'm actually enjoying it more because it just feels great when you, you get this punchy feeling with using crit. So I actually enjoy this build more. Which is not less important for me. I want to enjoy the build. Uh, yeah. So again, very tanky. Uh, deals a lot of damage. Like, it's all the things that you actually need to kind of clear things very, very fast. And of course, the gong is amazing. You can use it. You don't need to wait for the cooldown. If I want to use it, there's another enemy. I just roll a few shots. Ready for the next engagement. Clear everything up. Because this game works like this. There are batches of enemies. You click them up. Walk a bit. Bunch of enemies. Right? So, what I do here is exactly that. I... Actually, this fits perfectly for the pace of the game. Because I'm already ready with if a big enemy comes to use the gong. Even if they come very shortly after. Now, of course, be, this is all because of this bow. I'm going to upgrade it, by the way. You need to upgrade it. It's just 170. Uh, I'm going to upgrade even more. Uh, but again, the core thing is the synergy between the two enchantments. That allows me to not wait. To use things very, very fast. Load the enchantments very fast and continue doing uh, you know continue playing uh i might add a, a macro because macro can speed things up instead of just pressing space and shoot uh several times with the right mouse button i can just do a macro that can do all that it's like pressing a mouse button and you have like all your enchantment reset but just pressing one more button and waiting like three seconds two seconds three seconds that's how good it is so this is it for this video. Tell me what you think about this build right now. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. It's good for everything I did right now. Even when I play, especially when I'm playing uh, levels uh, with a higher power than what I am, it's still easy for me. I can do even 10 power more than what I am and still do good. And this is a good thing about this build because it's actually, when you test it out, at higher power than what you actually are, and you can do well, this means that the build works really well. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, if you have any tips, suggestions, recommendations, everything related to what I've uh, showed you here for this build, let me know in the comment section below. And share with me your build. I want to know what builds you are using to kind of survive this really tough engagement that we have right now in this new DLC. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Oh, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I want to create really amazing builds even more soon check out the other bits that are already posted but more refined ones of course will come after i get more more gear so this is it i see you the next one cheers everyone bye bye